Tonight, students at Howard University fed up with what they are calling unsafe living conditions. Student videos showing what appears to be pipes burst, insect infestations, and mold under beds and covering the walls. Coughing up blood, like I was coughing so bad I coughed up blood, like coughing for hours, great. Students we spoke with say the mold is growing throughout the halls of the university dorms in Washington, D.C. Are you guys in the same building? No, no. I live in... You guys are in different buildings. Yes. yes. Two yeah. buildings, both of you coughing up blood. Yeah. yeah. Both students are now living on the floors of the university cafeteria. Other students sleeping outside in tents and in sleeping bags, reporting to the university and posting on social media issues ranging from Wi-Fi connection problems to insect and rat infestations, like sophomore Tia Scott. In my, my own room, we had a mice infestation with blood everywhere and everything. It was a horrible situation. Scott, now among the nearly 100 who have vacated their rooms, according to the students we spoke with, she is camping outside for a second week. Right now, sleeping in a tent outside in the cold at night, trying to study for my midterms and keep my grades up while all of this is happening. Students now calling out the administration. I'm paying $5,000 for mold in my dorm. I'm paying $5,000 for rats. Even leaks in their dorm rooms. How many students do you think then are exposed to this right now? Hundreds. NBC News could not confirm the number, but Howard University did not respond to our request for an interview today. Last week, the university issued a statement saying in part, members of the administration have also toured and inspected every residence hall on campus and are addressing any documented facility issues directly with our third-party housing managers. The results of our inquiries affirm that the issues are not widespread. That hasn't been enough, though, to satisfy many students. Another one of those students, Tamira Kelly. She is a freshman from out of state. She says she has no family nearby or anywhere off campus to move. Most of my shoes in my closet, mold on my clothes, mold in our air vents, mold on my fan. Mold, there is mold everywhere. You were breathing mold. <laughs> I was breathing in mold, and as someone with asthma and respiratory issues in general, that was terrifying. I couldn't stay in there. My parents didn't want me in there, so I had to get out of my room. Vaughn joins us now from Washington. Vaughn, we saw there in your report you have students sleeping in the cafeteria, students sleeping outside. The weather is starting to turn in that area. It's only going to get colder. It sounds like they've hit a breaking point. How long are they going to be sleeping in those conditions? Exactly. That's the question that these students have. We're talking about a second week for them between the cafeteria and outside here. But they said that they need answers from this administration. They said that they have requested a meeting with administrators, but have yet to get one. NBC News, we today reached out to those administrators requesting an interview. We ourselves have not heard back either. But this is the circumstances in which they said it is just as much of a necessity to be sleeping outdoors as it is a protest in what this has become. These students who did not know each other before this, between going from midterms and classes now are coming together discussing how they can best address this because they don't believe particularly the situation around that mold has been addressed and they said they're not prepared to go back to those dorms yet. Tom? Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.